Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to Facebook Live on Sunday night. I'm going to get myself popped up here on my screen so I can see your comments. Hi Heather, welcome. And my computer's running a little snow. A little snow. <laughs> snow outside no snow in here <laughs> Wendy Sue I'm so happy to see you on here hi Chris hi Kathy Jeannie Kelly welcome I've got everything muted here and ready to roll hi Cindy Mickey Rachel so happy to see you guys coming on tonight I have some really fun projects to share with you tonight we are going to be making a gift card holder. I know you're going to love it. It's a fun fold, but it's a really easy one. Um, I also had somebody ask me to make the Santa suit hat that I got from Linda Bunce last week. And so I have pulled that together and measured it to make sure I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to share that with you. Hi, Sharon. Kathy, two Sharons. Debbie's on tonight. Welcome, you guys. So... I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, I had a super busy week this week. What did I do? Gosh, it just seems like crazy. Oh, I had a card buffet on Saturday. That always keeps me busy. Elaine, I'm happy to see Elaine on here, and I hope you're healing well. Elaine had a little accident, and uh, she's home healing from that. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Lorinda. Angela, welcome. So yeah, I got ready for my card buffet. That kept me pretty busy. And oh, I have a new online class coming out next Friday. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So I was shooting videos like a crazy person <laughs> for the online class. <clears throat> Make sure you share my video. I always appreciate that. Hi, Angie. Hi, Amy. Terry, welcome. Um, whether you're watching live right now, you can push that share button. Click on that like button. That helps me out a lot, too. Um, or whether you're watching later on YouTube, please click on the share button. That is such a huge help to me. You guys don't even know. And I have to tell you, I'm wearing the scarf that Linda, uh, no, uh, Lois made for me. Isn't this pretty? I thought it matched really nice with my outfit tonight. And I have my necklace on that I got. Let me see if I can get up here a little closer from Stampin' Up. Oh, and there's a glary. Yeah, this is my um, necklace that I got. I think this is an award for being in the top 100 for the globally, for the world. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, wearing that, I'm feeling pretty blinged out here tonight. Oh, my gosh. Terry says, hi, Kelly. I hope you're feeling better. I am 100%. Like, I am good to go. Um, I did have this week, I don't know if you can see it, ouch, see my face is a little swollen right here. You can see that, right? It's kind of swollen yet. But I had a little lump removed from right here. Like they cut my face open and took out um, some type of a gland that got plugged up years and years ago. And it was like the little size of a pea. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> not all of a sudden, over time, very slowly, it started growing and getting bigger. And so then it was almost as big as a gumball. So I had that removed this week. And I went to plastic surgeon for it. And I asked her if she just couldn't take a little tuck and just pull this up just a little bit. That would be awesome as long as I was there. <laughs> she said, no. So I don't know if you guys know this, but a few years ago, um, I had some skin cancer on my forehead. And so I had what they call a Mohs procedure. <laughs> oh my gosh, the plastic surgeon, he must have thought I was a completely insane. Because um, I said, oh, this is nice because they're going to cut a slice of my skin out. And then they gave me like an insurance paid facelift. And so while I was there and he was telling me what he was going to do, I told him that. And he kind of giggled and looked at me like I was strange. And then I said, do you see any skin cancer like right here? Because I could use just a little tuck right there. That would be nice. And he said no too. <laughs> so, like, can't you help a girl out, right? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I had a good week. It was a super busy week. This coming week is a little more laid back for me. I do have um, an online class that's going to go live on Friday, but I just have to edit some videos and get those uploaded and I'll be ready to roll with that. I did all the hard work last week, so that's exciting. What else is happening? Um, 
I'm still not commenting or liking much on Facebook, but I have good news. Oh my, I'm like, what is my computer doing? It's like making this whirling noise. Um, the good news is I have not been in Facebook jail in quite a while. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get off that no fly list. Okay. Um, that's what I've been calling it. Like I've been put on a no fly list. So I just do a couple things on Facebook and bam, they throw me in jail again. So I've been really, really good about staying, not liking, not commenting on stuff, which is really hard for me because I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm kind of social. <laughs> so anyhow, um, just know that I'm seeing your stuff. I'm liking your stuff. I'm just not clicking on it and I'm not commenting because I want to keep myself out of jail and not get into any more trouble. Um, let's talk a little bit about my new online class. Uh, let me see if I can. Yes, I have the stamp set right here. Snow front. And you know what? I'm going to mirror my screen and we'll see how that goes. Remember last week when we had the flashing light when I mirrored my screen? Well, I did a test run the next day to see if it was my new light bulbs and it wasn't. It's actually Facebook. So when I mirrored on Facebook, the problem was with them. So I'm going to watch and see. But anyways, as long as we're on here, this is Snowfront. I have a brand new online class coming out on Friday, the 13th, December 13th. So watch for that. The class has eight cards plus, we always almost always do eight cards, right? Plus a bonus card. So you're actually going to get nine cards plus... I do a video on Friday introducing the online class where I um, show you another card using the snow front. So you're going to actually have nine cards in the class, another card with my video on Friday for 10 different ideas. And um, hi, Terry. I'm just reading No Jail. Hope you can, you like. Yeah, I know. Right. I hope I can like stuff again, too. But we've got nine cards. The online class by itself is $20. You can buy it like that or you can get it free. It's going to come with um, option number one is where you get the online class free and you get a bonus cardstock pack. And, oh, I have that here someplace. Let me grab it. It's right here. Here is the online cardstock pack. So it comes in a pack. Everything is cut. It's punched. It's embossed um, with this particular class. Now, some classes, you need to have the stamp set and like a set of dies. This one, you don't. Snowfront doesn't come with dies or a punch, okay? So option one, for $63, you're going to um, get the neutral 6x6 six six designer series paper the Magnolia Combo Ribbon Pack, and the Ice Stamp and Glitter, which are all going to be used in the online class. $63 includes tax and shipping. You get the online class for free, and the, I throw in the cardstock pack. Yay. Option number two, you can get the online class and the cardstock pack for $35. Option three is you can pay me $20 for the online class. And if you're on my team, I give you a special. You can get this cardstock pack for... $15 if you're one of my discount shoppers. So that's another reason to join my team and get a discount on your products, right? Yeah, I am flashing. Okay, um, I'm going to unmirror my screen because it is a Facebook thing and that's the reason why it's happening. I just unmirrored and now I shouldn't be flashing anymore. So I don't know what's going on with Facebook, but they need to fix that because it's not my light bulbs. I did it in my living room and it was flashing and it was flashing in my kitchen. And so it's not on my end because of new light bulbs. It's on Facebook end. So I hope they get that fixed. Hmm. Did you guys see my new flowers over here? Yeah. These are so pretty. And I'm going to smell the flowers. I got these from my team leader, Ann Hebner. And look at that mercury glass vase. Very trendy. Just like our mercury glass designer series paper, right? Yeah, Stampin' Up! is always very trendy. Okay, watch for the online class. You have to register for it by December 20th, and um, it'll be shipping around the 27th because I have to get everybody who wants it, then I have to get the product here, then I have to cut and punch and emboss and dot, you know, the whole deal, and then I can get it out in the mail to you. Now, I have to tell you that I don't think any of the cards in here are Christmassy. 
They're all different kinds of all occasions, but you won't need this for Christmas. So, okay. Oh, and the online class includes the stamp set if you get option one for $63. I kind of forgot to put that in there. But, okay, uh, then I wanted to tell you guys. These are ready to go in the mail. This is a cardstock pack for the Christmas Time Is Here online class. And you can find all that information on my blog. Um, in the right-hand column is an online class button. And when you, when you click on that, you're going to find the details for the Christmas Time Is Here. I have four packs of these left. You have to email me to tell me that you want the online class and the pre-cut cardstock pack. And I will invoice you through PayPal. Only four left. So... You want to get one of those don't waste any time my email address is kelly at a stamp above.com all right and i'll get those out in the mail to you right away and if you ever have trouble using my monthly host code i'm going to grab it here so you know what i'm talking about monthly host code right here i know it's backwards it'll be right when i turn the camera around if you ever have any trouble using that you can't quite get it to work just go ahead and put your order in because I can go in and assign your order to that host code to give you my special purpose. Hang on, I'm just struggling down here on my desk a little bit. <laughs> like, why is her head in the camera? All right, um, let's see. I also have the Sip Sip Hooray online class going right now. Oh, let me grab this. This is Sip Sip Hooray. Super fun cocktails. Love this. It also comes with a set. Ooh, look at my die just. Ah, my die just fell out. My olives. It comes with a set of dies, or you can get a set of dies with it. That online class registration closes on that on Wednesday. And you get a pre cut cardstock pack. And look at this pretty card that I made. Yeah. Isn't that cute? So this is my video introducing the class. And then you can order it with the bundle. You can order it with the cheers dies. You get the online class for free. Um, in the kit also is a pack of rhinestones, a six by six neutral designer series paper. No, 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 wait, I'm reading the wrong one. I'm like, what? I didn't do that twice. Silver glimmer paper, silver edged ribbon, woven thread sequins, and the silver metallic thread. Plus you get a cardstock pack, eight cards, four different designs. And that is $42. So again, online classes on my blog, you can find all this information. Um, and also a pre-cut cardstock pack for my team for $15. So you get a special rate. And then I wanted to tell you guys about the online classes I have coming out in um, January. Starting in January, we have a brand new catalog. Ah! If you're new to Stamping Up or you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you would like to get a copy of this catalog, and also our celebration starts in January, this brochure, you can pop me an email and let me know, kelly at stampabove.com, and I would be happy to mail them to you. We are going to be um, using my kit, my kit classes, which includes product. Um, in January is going to be, hang on, I lost my place here, Tropical Oasis. And then in February is Birthday Bonanza. So watch for those coming out. And then my online classes, which are different. Um, we're going to be doing Peaceful Posies in January and February, and we have something special up our sleeves. That's the class that I do with Barb and Dina, my friends, that are also demonstrators. We have something special up our sleeves for January and February, and I think you're going to love it. So, now, I'm going to get back to my mail. So, um, I got this from Kathy Roca. Roca. Isn't that pretty? This was one of the paper pumpkin kits. Look at how gorgeous she made that. So Kathy called me and said, hey, I'm a demonstrator from Southern Wisconsin. I believe she's Southern Wisconsin. She was in town and she forgot to bring cardstock with her. She was here, I think, with her sister to do some stamping and she forgot some cardstock and wondered if I had it. So I said, come on over. So she came over. She had forgotten her paper cutter. I lent her a paper cutter. I said, just bring it back and leave it on my porch when you're done for the weekend, whatever. 
So she made this really pretty card that she tucked into my paper cutter when she returned it. And aren't stampers just the nicest people? They are. I love them. <laughs> okay. Um, other mail that I got this week. This comes to me from Christine Trimble. You guys have to see this. Is that not stinking adorable? Yeah. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that fun? Now, this looks super, super complicated, but it's really not. And I'm going to set this aside and show you how to make this. Not tonight, but in the near future, we're going to make this card. So thank you so much for the card. It is beautiful. And then I have to show you this one. And this comes to me from Cindy Benward, and she is on my team. Look at how pretty that is. Now watch this. Yeah. See that? Isn't that cool? So pretty. And that just tucks in there like that so this sticks out the front. I love this. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this one too. So I've got two cards I'm going to put in my Facebook Live bin that I can show you in the future. But then I got this box from Cindy. Cindy's one of my team members and she has just been the sweetest. I, I'm so thrilled that she found me, I think, on YouTube and we started chatting. But um, she's just thanking me for all the things that I do and says that I am definitely a bright spot in a stamper's mood. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then look at this. Isn't that cute? So remember a few weeks ago when I said just add a belly band to a gift and you can really spruce it up? Hang on a second. There we go. Look at these. I've got candies and these are lemon meringue pie candy from Coos Bay, Oregon, which is where Cindy is from. And I can't hardly wait to break into these because, remember this? Yeah, they're gone. All of my sea salt caramels <laughs> that I got from Connie are gone. I ate them. So now I get these. So thank you so much. This is just, I love this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put these in my Facebook bin over here so I can do those for a Facebook Live. And I've got this beautiful card here from Kathy that I'll display. Life is grand, right? Yeah, I'm going to put my candy right up here so I don't lose it. <laughs> okay, what else is happening? We have winners from last week, you guys. Let me move these things off to the side. Um, uh, hang on, I lost my... Where did that stamp set go? Oh, here it is. I'm like, what happened to my Sip Sip Hooray set? Okay. Winners from last week. You get three chances to win. And yeah, I can't mirror my screen. Otherwise, there's a flashing that goes on. Facebook has some issues right now, so that's why. And um, I will, when I turn my camera around, you'll be able to see everything fine. So don't worry. It's just like right now, things are backwards. So, um... There's three ways you can win with me. One is to leave a comment, so make sure you're telling me something. You leave some type of a comment so you're going to get entered into the drawing. The other way is to share my video. So I do a drawing from commenting, I do a drawing from sharing, and I also do a drawing for everyone who places an order with me during the week. So I have winner for commenting last week gets these beautiful copper stars. And that is my good friend, Terry Sampson from, oh, is it St. Michael's? I think it's St. Michael's, Minnesota. Remember, Terry's the one that let us stay at her cabin when I went on my trip to Kansas. We drove up to Minneapolis, stayed at Terry's cabin. I did a Facebook Live from there. Remember her? Yeah, so she was my winner. I drew her name, and she's going to win these copper stars. And Terry, if you are watching, if you could please... Um, Private message me your address again. So I have that. And then for sharing the video last week, we have these beautiful, brightly gleaming foil elements. And Judy Kruth from Crowley, Louisiana is the winner for these. So congratulations, Judy. I do have your address, so you don't need to send that to me. And then look what I'm giving away tonight. This has been a favorite. It was super, super popular. Christina Cooper Ryder from Norwalk, Ohio is the winner for placing an order last week. So, yay! 
Congratulations, everybody. I'm going to set these back here so I do not lose them in all the chaos that is about to happen here. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Thank you for congratulating everyone. I love good sports. And, um, yeah, I've always been really good about congratulating people. Like, even when I don't win, it's still cool that they won, right? Okay. Um, I think we are ready to... Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So, in case you haven't heard... The moose punch that goes with this stamp set is sold out right now. But Stampin' Up! made an announcement this week, and I'm super excited about it. They are going to be putting things into hibernation from the holiday mini catalog that is live right now. They're going to put some things into hibernation throughout the year until we get to the next mini catalog in 2020. They're bringing back the moose punch. Woohoo! I'm so excited about that. So, just know that there will be a punch available to go with your stamp set um, in September of 2020, Christina. And I know you're going to love it. So, something new, Stampin' Up! is just going to try that out and see how it goes. So, that's pretty cool. Then, um, we also have, I've got the carryover items here, just so I know what's going on. Um... There's a carryover list. There's a year-end closeout list. If you guys miss those, you can find them on my blog. There's a link that'll take you right to my store to show you what's going away, what's staying, um, what's discounted right now, so you can get a you know a good deal on something that you may have had on your list. Okay, I have to tell you guys, there's a lot of chaos going on in our house right now <laughs> because. My husband had a whole bunch of food that he had thawed. He had a whole bunch of chicken breasts and a pork tenderloin. And so he made that with cheesy scallop potatoes and mashed potatoes and some type of vegetables that he forgot about and left them in the thing. So we didn't get those, but he invited the kids over. So Anna and Scott and then their friends came over and, the, and their grandkids and then Haley showed up. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in my house right now. It's like a little distracting. Okay, I am going to start unloading my stuff here so I can show you this really cool card that Linda Bunce shared with me. And I have to say, Linda Bunce is somebody that is now on my team as a discount shopper. She's a phenomenal stamper. I love everything she makes. She shared many things with me. Um, but one of the really cool things is that we met online. Like I've, oh, look at there's Linda right now. She'll catch me later. The Hawks are on. That's okay, Linda. You go ahead. You can come back and watch later. Um, Linda, um, Linda and I met online and I'm so glad we did. She's so very talented and she is funny and just a joy to hear from. So anyhow, this card was originally made by her. I am going to flip my screen around now so that you can see what I'm doing and you won't have to worry about things being mirrored. And hi, Amy, and hi, Sue. Welcome. Okay, if you get sick, close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. And we're going to do this. There we go. I got my phone plugged in. Make sure I get my camera straight here. I don't want anybody to, like, get dizzy or anything. Okay, now I have to pay attention to what's going on. The, sea, the Seahawks are playing right now. Our Packers won today, so that was great, right? Yay, go Pack. I'm going to be using the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. And all I'm using in here is the greetings because I love this ho, ho, ho. And it's what Linda used on her card. So, let me get out my card stock. I have... A piece of our Whisper White Thick cardstock. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. And remember, you guys, all of these measurements will be on my blog later tonight. I'll also put them above the video when we're done with the Facebook Live so that you can refer to them if, you, if you're in a making mood tonight. You can certainly make these things. Then we have Real Red, and this is four by eight and a half. And I've already scored it at five and a quarter. I've got a scrap of our gold foil paper, a piece of our black foil paper. This is two by two, 
and then two pieces that are both two by four and they're scored at a half an inch. And I think that's it. Now, I am using the um, layering squares, square die, and this die is, I'll just tell you in case you don't have this, you can certainly just cut a square. This is about two and a half by two and a half. And you're going to want to die cut two gold squares, scalloped squares, out of your gold foil scrap. And when you do that, this is what you're going to end up with, okay? So we've got two of those. Now this card is super easy. Oh, I'm missing a piece of white. Hang on. Ah. Here we go. I think this needed a piece of white needs to be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So let me get my paper cutter out here because I slightly remember a scrap of white laying around and I think I put it away by accident. So two and three quarters by three and three quarters. By the way, this is the new Stampin' Up! paper cutter. If you need a new paper cutter, I'm very happy with this one. It's working wonderfully. The blades are still super sharp. Somebody said last week that they were having problems with their blades coming out. Um, this little notch right down here is where you can take your blades out. So you want to make sure that you've got both of your arms. Hang on just a second. Both of your arms are hooked in here. If you don't, that's when you're going to have problems. But if you have them in properly, you shouldn't have any issues with this at all. Because, of course, you want to be able to take out your blades so you can change them when you need to but I think that's what may be going on. Anyhow, um, we're gonna take this Whisper White layer and we're going to do just a touch of stamping. I've got some real red ink here and then I need a basic black also. I'm gonna take the Merry Christmas and I'm just going to stamp that. Let me make sure I have that inked up really good. I'm just going to stamp that right on this layer. Okay, so we're done with that. That was simple, right? We, everybody can handle that. And then this one, we're going to fold it this way. And we're going to stamp ho, ho, ho. Oh, I have to tell you guys a story. So today we went to the machine shed. Hang on, I need to get my head over this so I can see and make sure it's straight. Today we went to the machine shed. Isn't that cute? Ho, ho, ho. For breakfast, we met um, some friends for breakfast. And the Santa from our mall, he's been coming to the mall for over 30 years. I have pictures of Haley when she was a baby with the Santa. He eats breakfast there every morning, so I got my picture taken with him. I need to share that. I'll share that on my um, Facebook page when we're done. But I was so excited to see Santa, I can't even tell you. And if you watch, um, Elf is one of my favorite movies. I love it when um, Elf is like jumping up and down and he's so excited and he's like, Santa, Santa, I know him. And that's what I felt like. <laughs> I actually said that too. Okay, you're gonna take uh, these two foil pieces. Remember they're scored at a half an inch on each end. So I am going to fold those over and you're going to adhere them right down the middle of the card, okay? So I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue here. <laughs> I did. I got to see Santa. Yeah, Sue. It was that Santa that's at our mall. Sue is from my area. It was that Santa. He eats breakfast at the machine shed every day. I was so happy to see him. I don't know. I just felt like a child. <laughs> I acted like a child, too, because I went right over to him and said, can I have your picture with you? He said, of course. So, yeah, I was one of those people, one of the annoying people. All right, so I'm just putting the other buckle on this other side. Now, you want to make sure that they're lined up, right? Do that. There we go. So this is what we have right now. Okay? And then... We are going to glue the one on the right side down to the front of the card. Just like that. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Don't put glue way out here because that's kind of a mess. And then I say to myself, Kelly, why are your scissors so sticky? Well, this is why. 
you need to think before you start just slobbering glue all over the place, right? Now we're just going to trim this one off. And I just thought it would be easier to have these two buckle things. Oh, make sure you fold that down. This is kind of being a stinker right now. Um, these two buckle things the same size and just trim one of, them off, one of them off. That just makes life easier. That's the way I felt about it. Here comes that Merry Christmas that we stamped. And you're going to put that right in here. Just like that. Yep. Okay, we're doing we're doing good so far. Now, I have to tell you that Linda used a magnet in her card to keep this closed. And I don't have any of those super thin little magnets. But if you have some, go ahead and use it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to center my gold foil buckle right here. And I'm going to take some glue and put it right there. And then I'm going to bring this in and put it right over top of that other one. And we're going to glue that in in just a second. But I just wanted for placement purposes to make sure that I had that right. And you're going to do glue here. Now you would want to put your magnet. If you're going to put a magnet in here, you would do it now. But I don't have any. And I think we're going to be just fine. Okay, so you want to make sure that these are lined up good so you don't have any white sticking out. Kind of hold it up. There we go. And then this two by two. Oh, I got glue on there. Hang on. I'm going to put a little spit on it. <laughs> I know. We all do it, right? I had another piece of black here someplace. I got some glue on there, you guys. But now you're going to add this right to the middle. So it looks like it's kind of slid through like a belt, but it's really just a square on the front. And I wish I could remember who asked me for this card, but um, I was happy you did because it's a really neat little card. Look at that. And again, this was Linda Bunce's swap from the Las Vegas on stage. So if you got this card at Las Vegas, that was my Linda. <laughs> my Linda that made this card for a swap. And now we're going to put it on the white. Oh my gosh, that's not the right size. Ma, hang on. What did I do? I gave you the right measurements. Let me take a look-see here. I bet you this is too long. Yeah, it's a little too long. Um, oh, hang on. I'm just going to make this card base a little bit bigger and I'll put it in a larger envelope because I can't fix anything right now. But um, I gave you the right measurements. I just happened to cut it wrong. So I'm just going to make this about a quarter of an inch longer so that my card will fit. Oh, gosh, this is not the way I wanted to start off with a flub up already, but... You'll be able to make this no problem. I just made a goof. And don't get glue on your black part. It's not attractive. See, I help you guys by making all these mistakes right up front so you know what not to do, right? <laughs> That's how that works. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cool? Oh, and then I slid this. Jeez, we got to move on to the next card. There we go. And let's look at Linda's. Hers works perfectly. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cute, right? She used a different greeting on the inside of hers. And it's got that magnet in there. But once you put this in an envelope, I think it will stay closed also. So there we go, you guys. There is card number one. Pretty simple, right? Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way. I gotta throw that away because it's got glue all over it. Get this put away. What's next? I think we're going to do our little easel project next. Just hang tight. Put this away so I don't lose anything. And here comes some fun.
Oh, I gotta remember. That is from Itty Bitty Birthdays, I think. Let me grab that. Yep, okay. That's the word set that I'm using. And then, did anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm kind, it's kind of hard to watch comments and stamp and do all the things, I have to tell you that. If you've ever tried this, <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have a card base that is a four and a quarter by 11. We have two layers of Whisper White that are four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of the Come Together, um, what do they call this? Gingham, okay? This is one by four. Then I have a scrap of Pretty Peacock. Did I say this was Pretty Peacock? I don't remember saying that. I have another piece of Pretty Peacock that is, I don't know. Oh, two. So it's two and seven sixteenths by three and an eighth. And that sounds like a crazy measurement, but we're also going to be using a calendar. So whatever lets a little border stick out from behind your calendar. Now I have to tell you guys, I will give you the link to where I get my calendars. I ask all of you right now not to put any links in the comments for calendars like this, and I'll tell you why. Stampin' Up! has rules against sharing competing companies' links. And while I know that everybody has very good intentions, um, it's, not, it's never a good idea to share a link in somebody else's Facebook Live or on their YouTube channel for another demonstrator or another company because I'm working really hard here and I don't want my followers to be sent to somebody else's store. Does that make sense? But Stampin' Up! does have kind of a non-compete clause, so like I can't advertise stuff for another stamping company. So I will share a link for these mini calendars. I ask that none of you do that, all right? I'll give you a link as soon as we're done here so you can go order some of your own. But I always order a whole bunch of these. And um, then I cut a layer that goes right behind here. So, and again, this is two and seven sixteenths by three and an eighth, and it's just whatever's a little bit bigger than my little calendar. I love making these types of things this time of year and giving them out as gifts because I, I have calendars all over my desk, you guys. I have calendars that I have propped up all over the place. So I really appreciate and love these. And then this piece is three by four and an eighth. Now I'm gonna bring my paper cutter in here. I should say, whoops, oh, hang on, things are falling. I'm gonna bring my trimmer in here. Pick my catalog up off the floor. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of scoring to do. So this was the piece that is three by four and an eighth. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna score it at a half an inch. And then I'm going to turn that around and do one and a half inches and two and a half inches. This is going to be the accordion that's going to hold our little desktop calendar up. So we've got this, this, and this. Just like that. Okay? Then I'm going to bring in our base, which was the four and a quarter by 11, and I'm going to score that in half at five and a half. Okay, I think we're ready to roll here. I'm gonna fold this and give it a good burnish. Okay, good, my screen is finally scrolling. Like, almost all the time it doesn't scroll like it's supposed to. Okay, here is a Whisper White layer. This is four by five and a quarter. And you're going to run that through the hammered metal embossing folder. And remember, this is one of them that needs that blue plate. So you would put this in your Big Shot and put the blue plate on top and run it through. 
And once you do that, we're going to end up with this beautiful design. Isn't that pretty? I love that hammered metal embossing folder. Um, and Connie, that's another thing that I don't want anybody to share any links about where to order those flat magnets. You can go out and do a search on your own for that. But again, please don't post any links on my Facebook Live. It just can really become a problem, and I sure appreciate your cooperation with that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to take this little one-inch strip of designer paper, and we're going to add that right down here to the bottom of our embossed layer. Just like that. So there's just a little tiny strip of white hanging out here. And we can already attach this to our card front. Here we go. It's pretty already, isn't it? I love these colors. I love white with this pretty peacock. Then we are going to take the scrap. <clears throat> Um, hang on, I gotta find my stars. Hmm. Oh, I know where they are. We're gonna be doing another project with the stars after this one. So I'm using the So Many Stars bundle. It comes with a gazillion stars. Half of them are pulled out of here. One of them's right here. We're gonna take this die Oh, Connie, you're fine, but thank you for mentioning it so I could say that. You're, you're, we're all good, no worries. And you're going to take um, a scrap and we're going to run this through the big shot. And when we do that, you get this piece. And isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. And again, this is from the Stitched Stars Dies. This is in our holiday mini catalog. It's got a whole bunch of stars in it. We're using it on the next project that I'm going to show you tonight, too. So you get to see all the dies that it cuts out. It's really pretty. Okay, and in here, all of these star centers are right here because you can use those for your card, too, right? Okay, I am going to add a little bit of glue. Now, you could, you could get out your um, glue sponge like I've shown you before. And you could use that on the back of this layer. I'm a lazy stamper, so I'm just being lazy and not pulling it out of the drawer. I'm just adding a little bit of glue all over the place here. I'm going to take this and kind of put this swoosh of stars at an angle here on my layer. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with some of these stars that are cut out of the center of that die. And... Yeah, Terry says she loves the stars and she's so glad they're keeping them. Yes, this is one of the items that is going to carry over. So this will still be available. And I'm super excited. I thought it was going to sell out really fast. And that would have really um, made me sad because I had it. And this is like kind of the first time I'm using it. I've been using so many other things that I just haven't gotten around to it. But now I'm really regretting that I haven't been using it more. Okay, pretty, right? That's pretty. Now what we're going to do is, oh, I had a piece of, did I have a piece of champagne? No. Hang on a second. I thought I had a piece of champagne. Well, maybe I'll use some gold here. Here we go. Um, oh, there's my champagne. Okay, good. All right, and I've got that. I think I need one and a quarter. Yep. One of it. One and a quarter. Hang tight, you guys. I still have some of my stuff packed up for my card buffet. I thought I had gotten it all out, but I didn't. So, here comes a scrap of white. Like I said, I use that It's Your Day, and that's from the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set. I just thought that was a good greeting to put on a calendar so that when people look at that, every day is going to be their day. 
And I thought, well, that's fitting, don't you think? Yeah. Then I'm going to take one and a quarter inch circle punch. And make sure that's the right size. That, mm, that looks a little big. Hang on. No, I think, I think it's right. One and a quarter inch circle. Pop that out of there. And then you're going to take your one and three eighths inch scallop circle. Pop that out of there. We're going to glue these together. You know, I just made this card. I created this on Friday. And you would think I made it a month ago. That's like how bad my memory is. <laughs> kind of sad, right? I'm looking for dimensionals. Hang on. Here we go. We're going to add a dimensional to the back of this. And then I'm going to bring our calendar in. So I'm going to take the calendar and add a little bit of glue to the back of it. Oh, thank you guys for the love. I see you guys are clicking on that heart. I appreciate that. And next, we're going to glue this. right about here. We're going to add this on here so we can tell our friend or our loved one it's their day every single day. You love that? I thought that was a really good idea. Who doesn't need to be boosted up like that? And I'm going to take one more of these stars and put it right over here. Now, what about this crazy thing? This is going to be our easel that holds us up because while this will stand up for a little while, it'll then start doing that, right? We don't want that to happen to our calendar. So this little thing, this little three by four and an eighth, you're going to put some glue on one of those tabs, just like that. Oh, oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Did you like the sound effects? I do stuff like that when I'm here by myself too. The, ah! <laughs> Who does that? Do you guys do that? Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. What's everybody drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade in my little thermal flask. I love those bottles. They're really nice. I think my husband got these at Costco and I can set that on the counter and in the morning there's still ice in there like it doesn't water down my drink. Did you see this? Look at what I just did. Where's my Kleenex? Here it is. Let me wipe that glue off of there. Okay, and then we're going to glue this together. So now, let me pinch it for a bit here. Caffeine-free Pepsi. There you go, there's our easel. This can stand up like that. Now, if you wanted to put a message on here you could certainly take another piece of Whisper White, maybe, how about, hmm, hang on just a second, I just got kind of an idea. Yep, let me grab my other star stamp. There it is. Okay, you could write a message on the back of your calendar gift, and people can remember that this came from you all year long. How about if we just do this? Oh my gosh, so pretty, right? This is part of the stamp set that comes in the bundle. Oh, I'm like, where'd my glue go? It's right there, Kelly. And now I'm gonna put this on the back. Now, I happen to have a whole bunch of these calendars. And I am going to make up a kit like this. And I won't be able to stamp the it's your day in here. You'll have to do something like that yourself. But I'll um, I'll put the die cut stars and the embossed back and a piece of this paper. I'll put all the layers of cardstock and a calendar in an envelope and mail it to everybody that places an order between now and Friday, December 13th at noon. Okay? So if you would like to get a little kit in the mail that you can put together your own calendar pop on over to my store, www.estampabove.com, and the right-hand column is an online ordering button. Place an order between now and Friday at noon Central Time, Friday, December 13th, 
and I will send you a kit in the mail with the calendar. Yay! Isn't that fun? I love this. Oh, and Marilyn's drinking a Bud Light. You go, Marilyn. It's a good night to have a beer, right? All right, I am going to clean this stamp because I can't remember if we're actually using it on the next card or not, but we are using the Star Bundle. Let's put that away. And I'll bring this back out here. I set it up on my desk. You can't see it when I do that, can you? That was silly. Leave this out here and put the rest of the stuff away. I need to write down, write myself a note, calendar kit, 12 p.m. on 12-13. All orders will get this kit. There you go. All right, I don't want to lose that. I told you I have a really bad memory, right? <laughs> Vicki, don't worry. Don't worry. Vicki just said your downlines would like a calendar too. Well, <laughs> we'll talk about that on Tuesday, okay? All right, um, get the rest of the stuff picked up. And I have another spectacular project to share with you. I'm super excited about this one too, you guys. Here we go. I've got some more of the dies. Some, I'm gonna use the black mini dimensionals. Yeah, everybody should have some of those. The classic label punch. I have itty bitty Christmas. The itty bitty Christmas set. I'm using the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from that. So that's where my greeting is coming from. I've got the swirls embossing folder. And let me set that here. Take my little cheat sheet away and put up a new one. Yeah. Oh, Cindy says my pep is catching. I'm so happy to hear that. I think everybody should have a boost, right? If you're watching me and you don't get a boost, I don't know. I certainly do hope that everybody is enjoying my creations and my crazy talk, chat, whatever. I think we all need to laugh a little bit more, right? Laughing is good for the soul. All right. We have blue. Um, let me see if I can remember what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, Night of Navy. So I have three and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And I'm gonna get my paper trimmer out here and we're gonna do our scoring right away as I'm talking to you about this. So again, this was three and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And we're gonna score at four and a quarter. And eight and a half. Okay, there we go. So we've got four and a quarter, eight and a half. Then we've got this little piece. This is four, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay, that goes with that. I'm using the Wrapped in Plaid Designer Series paper. And this is two and three quarters by three and three quarters one and three quarters by four. And again, all of these measurements can be found on my blog. As soon as I'm done, I will get that blog post up tonight and I'll also put it above the video that you're watching. Okay, then we have shaded spruce. Um, this is just a scrap, I think, yep. And we have a piece of Knight of Navy that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Hang on, I'm thinking here. A scrap of Knight of Navy. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. And I've already run it through that swirls 
embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start putting our card together. You're also going to need a scrap of foil, gold foil. This is a gift card holder. So this longer strip, you're going to fold on those score lines. Oh, and Lynn says she likes how well the backing comes off the black dimensionals. Hmm, I didn't really notice, but I'll, I'll pay a close attention to that this time. Okay. Um, this piece right here. Okay, this was our four and a quarter by three and a quarter. We are going to take that and we're going to glue glue it right to this. Let's put our glue on this tab right here. Don't get glue there. Where did my Kleenex go? Here it is. <laughs> I've used it a lot tonight. You're going to put this piece on that accordion piece that we just made. And I like to kind of hold it up like this and get it good and um, squared up. Okay, so then this is what we have. We've just made a longer piece is what we're doing here. Then we're gonna take, oh, where did that gold piece go, you guys? Here it is. This gold piece is three by four. We're gonna add that to the front of this panel. Just like this. And then our plaid is going to go right on top of there. Pretty, right? Yeah, I thought this was like kind of pretty stunning. I love these colors together in this pattern. Oh, Norma's asking if anyone knows how to turn on the comments on her iPad. She can't see them. Norma, I wish I could help you out. I do not know anything about iPads, like nothing. Okay, we've got this part done. Now, let me think. We need to take this little piece and I'm going to grab that circle punch again that one and a quarter inch circle punch and we're gonna just cut out a little bit less than half in the middle of this piece, just like that, okay? This is gonna hold our gift card. Now you wanna make sure that you keep your glue super close to the three edges that are gonna form the pocket so that a gift card will fit in here. We're gonna put that right here. There we go. I got a little glue running over here again. Seems to be what I'm doing tonight, right? And then here's an old Stampin' Up! gift card. Believe me, this is empty, but there you go. That fits right in there, okay? Then I took a whole bunch of these dies, all these star dies, and I cut out a bunch of little stars. So here comes all my little stars, and I'm going to bring, let me get this one picked up. I'm going to bring these stars in here. Oh, where'd my big star go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm like, I know I have a big star. Okay, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to glue this right to the front of my gift card holder. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I really like this a lot. And then I've got this design, and I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use a mini glue dot right in the center of this one. That's going to stick really good for me. Where's my take your pick tool? Right here. I'm going to put a mini glue dot right here. That, I know that'll stick good to this foil. Glue will stick, but I'll have to wait for it to dry, and it'll probably move on me. Mini glue, boom, done. Okay, then we have this scrap right here. And where did my Knight of Navy ink go? Does anybody see it? 
I know it's here. Some oh here it is underneath my gluey Kleenex. We're gonna take that Merry Christmas. Now there's Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I only want the Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna stamp both of them there. And then I'm going to punch it out with the classic label punch, but I'm just going to get the Merry Christmas. And I love that we have the option to do that, right? There we go. Yay! Turned out good, huh? Norma, did you get it? Yay! Okay, so you guys just told her to turn her iPad the long way. That's good to know. Um... There's another thing that happens when people are watching my YouTube videos on my blog on their phones. They don't know that they're holding their phone like this so they can only see half of my video. If that ever happens to you, you need to unlock your screen so you can turn your phone like this and then you'll see the whole video. I get a lot of people asking that question. Like how come they can't see the whole thing? What do you guys think? Is that cool? Okay. We have one more thing to do here. Hang on. Um, a couple more things. Now, I've got all these stars that I die cut, right? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add those right on this middle panel. Here's a gold one. Get some glue out there. And I'm just going to kind of have them randomly on, hang on, I gotta wipe this off. <laughs> Trudy's been losing stuff on her desk all week. Do you see where that star just went? Like, didn't I just have a little, oh, here it is. Yeah, me too. Oh, you guys, I have to tell you, so crazy. So I lost this little star die. Like I heard it fall off of my die cutting table, but I didn't look, like I didn't like immediately go, oh, it fell and look. So I put something away and then I came back to it and I couldn't find it any place. I was so mad at myself. I spent a half an hour to 40 minutes searching for it. I cleaned up my whole room. I, I um, swept my floor. I did everything. I took the garbage out trying to find this little star. It fell inside the drawer on my little cabinet. So when I was looking for another little star that I dropped, I was down face face even with that drawer and there it was laying inside the drawer like what are the chances that that happened like that it made me crazy but I got everything cleaned up <laughs> so that was okay um I don't know if I want this one on here I'm thinking no I'm gonna keep that and I'll use it for something else but I do want this one right over here there we go Okay, so I just put one little gold one right there. I'm going to save the rest of those for something else. And look at this, look at this swooshy thing. I don't know what you call this. I call it the swooshy thing. And I am going to add that. I don't know. Where am I going to? Oh, I was going to put it behind there. I was going to cut it in half and put it behind there, but it's too late for that. I don't know. We'll just put it right here. Maybe it's stuck to my fingers. Don't you hate it when that happens? I got glue on my fingers. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Okay, let's finish this up. All right, glue right here. I have to tell you, I am super happy that I have this star set because I love the stitched stars. Can you see those in the camera? Oops. They leave a stitching on the star that it cuts out, and the negative has stitching on it, too. So it's pretty cool. You're going to put this on your big Knight of Navy layer. And then we're going to close this up like this. And you're going to put glue all over the back of this layer, our little accordion layer. And you're just going to put it right in the middle. Oh my gosh, I love this. And here is your amazing gift card holder. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Love that. Okay. Let me bring out... Let's see, where did my... Here's my calendar. 
right here. Um, don't forget to get these black dimensionals. I don't know if these are carrying over or not. I, I didn't really look at that list too good, but having black dimensionals, you get the big ones, regular size ones, and these mini ones in one pack. So these are really nice to have under your darker layers so you don't see that white sticking out from under there, right? Okay, what else did I make? Right here. The Ho 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 card that gave me so much trouble. <laughs> it's really a very easy card too, right? Our desktop calendar and our gift card holder. Now, make sure you guys, if you place an order with me between now and noon on Friday, Central Time, I will send you a kit so you can make one of these calendars. I think you're going to love it, right? Yeah. And I'll give you the link on where I order my calendars from so that you'll have that also. And did I miss any questions that you guys had? Now, I think next week, somebody asked me to show the cute little box that Linda Bunce also made. So Linda made this card. Somebody asked me to show them this cute little box and... Um, I think I might do that next week. It's got a little pop-up in there. Isn't that cute? Yeah, super cute. I don't know, I was thinking of holding on to this till Valentine's Day and doing some type of a project with that. But either way, I'm going to put this... Oh, and Linda, by the way, I found this box. I emailed Linda. I said, Linda, can you send me all this stuff? Because I couldn't find this box. Well, I found it. So, yay me. But I'm going to put this in my Facebook Live box so that I don't forget I told you guys that I was going to make it at some point. And, um, yeah, Kathy Sanford says the black dimensionals are carrying over. Yay, I love the black dimensionals. All right, you guys, if you're coming on late, please don't forget to share my video. I really appreciate that. And, um... Whether you're on YouTube later or on Facebook right now, you can share it. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube and on Facebook. That really helps me out. It helps my the algorithms and all that internet-y stuff that none of us really understand. <laughs> At least I don't understand it. I just, I just read stuff and go, oh, I need to do that. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. <clears throat> If there's anything that you'd like to see me do for a Facebook Live, let me know. Um, I'm always happy to get suggestions or ideas. You need, you know, I, I need ideas sometimes too. I draw a blank every once in a while. But I think that this would be a really good investment. This star die set is just amazing. Where did my dies go? Oh, here they are. Here's the rest of them. Like, you get a ton of dies in here. It's a really good one. And I've seen a lot of really, my friend Ashley from Canada, she made a gorgeous birthday card with the stars all over a card. So this isn't just about Christmas, even though the greetings in here are for Christmas, you can make so many congratulations and birthday and all kinds of masculine cards with stars. There's a great stamp set in here too. So if anybody would like to place an order, you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, or maybe I'm your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, woohoo! Hop on over to my blog, www.stampabove.com, and you can use this host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, do not use the code. Stampin' Up! is going to give you some rewards, and I want you to have those. And Jean just said the stamp set is not carrying over. So if you would like this beautiful stamp set, you will need to get that before January 2nd, I think, is when it will end. And, um, yeah, I like this stamp set. It's got some really neat images in it, some great greetings for Christmas. And I love these little stars, these little speckles of stars, too, right? And I love this one. There's two sets there. Uh-huh. So there you go. Susan wants a lighted shadow box. I don't know about that. I'll have to look into that. If you have any ideas, private message me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Lynette, you can always watch from the start. Um, if you came in late, I think that's what you're saying, better late than never. Oh, better late than never, you just ordered the stars. Yeah, well, I just started using them, and I'm really sad that it's taken me this long to get to these. I'm kind of a slow goer on the whole Christmas thing because 
I'm still like into the long into November. I am still making lots of fall stuff. And so I don't get I don't get a started on my Christmas till really late. Like I'm ready to go gonzo's on Christmas right now and it's already the 8th of December, which is kind of late for stampers, but I'm going to keep showing you Christmas stuff because I love it and I need to make things. I do a lot of gift giving with my Christmas stuff. So yeah. Thank you, Sue Marie. I really appreciate it. I thought you guys would like these cards. I love doing calendars and sending those out. It's a great New Year's card too, if you're looking for um, ideas because who doesn't need a calendar? Like even to set in their kitchen or whatever. Like I said, I have calendars sitting all over the place and I refer to them constantly trying to keep my schedule straight. Anyways, I will post a link to where I get my calendars from. And um, if you guys have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to ask me. I so appreciate you watching my Facebook Live because without you guys, there would be none of this, <laughs> right? Okay, have yourselves a wonderful... Oh, <laughs> Marilyn says I'm ready to skip right to Valentine's Day. I know I want to make stuff with hearts, too. I should show you guys what I was working on earlier tonight, but I don't know what I did with it. I was actually working on some heart stuff. So you guys got some good stuff coming. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time out of your evening to spend it with me. I will be back next week, which is December 15th at 7 p.m. Central Time with some more great inky antics, right? I think we'll be doing some more like... Um, 3D things like little gift ideas because I have some things up my sleeve that I really want to share with you. All right, you guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. Whoops. Bye-bye. <laughs>